Grenada is a country in the West Indies in the Caribbean Sea at the southern end of the Grenadines island chain. Grenada consists of the island of Grenada itself plus six smaller islands which lie to the north of the main island. It is located northwest of Trinidad and Tobago, northeast of Venezuela and southwest of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Its size is 348.5 square kilometers, 134.6 square miles, and it had an estimated population of 107,317 in 2016. Its capital is St. George's. Grenada is also known as the Island of Spice due to its production of nutmeg and maize crops, of which it is one of the world's largest exporters. The national bird of Grenada is the critically endangered Grenada dove. Before the arrival of Europeans in the Americas, Grenada was inhabited by the indigenous Arawaks and later by the island Caribs. Christopher Columbus sighted Grenada in 1498 during his third voyage to the Americas. Although it was deemed the property of the King of Spain, there are no records to suggest the Spanish ever landed or settled on the island. Following several unsuccessful attempts by Europeans to colonize the island due to resistance from the island Caribs, French settlement and colonization began in 1650 and continued for the next century. On 10 February 1763, Grenada was ceded to the British under the Treaty of Paris. British rule continued, except for a period of French rule between 1779 and 1783, until 1974. From 1958 to 1962, Grenada was part of the Federation of the West Indies, a short-lived federation of British West Indian colonies. On 3 March 1967, Grenada was granted full autonomy over its internal affairs as an associated state. Herbert Blaise was the first premier of the associated state of Grenada from March to August 1967. Eric Gary served as premier from August 1967 until February 1974. Independence was granted on 7 February 1974, under the leadership of Eric Gary, who became the first Prime Minister of Grenada. In March 1979, the Marxist-Leninist New Jewel movement overthrew Gary's government in a coup d'état and established the People's Revolutionary Government PRG, headed by Maurice Bishop as Prime Minister. On 19 October 1983, hardline Deputy Prime Minister Bernard Cord and his wife Phyllis, backed by the Grenadian Army, led a coup against the government of Maurice Bishop and placed Bishop under house arrest. Bishop was later freed by popular demonstration and attempted to resume power, but he was captured and executed by soldiers. On 25 October 1983, forces from the United States and the Barbados-based Regional Security System RSS invaded Grenada in a U.S.-led operation code named Operation Urgent Fury. The invasion was highly criticized by the governments of Britain, Trinidad and Tobago and Canada, along with the United Nations General Assembly. Elections were held in December 1984 and were won by the Grenada National Party under Herbert Blaise, who served as Prime Minister until his death in December 1989. Etymology The origin of the name, Grenada, is obscure, but it is likely that Spanish sailors renamed the island for the city of Grenada. By the beginning of the 18th century, the name, Grenada, or La Grenade, in French, was in common use. On his third voyage to the region in 1498, Christopher Columbus sighted Grenada and named it La Concepcion, in honor of the Virgin Mary. It is said that he may have actually named it Assumption, but it is uncertain, as he is said to have sighted what are now Grenada and Tobago from a distance and named them both at the same time. However, history has accepted that it was Tobago he named Assumption, and Grenada he named. La Concepcion. In 1499, the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci traveled through the region with the Spanish explorer Alonso de Ojeda and mapmaker Juan de la Cosa. Vespucci is reported to have renamed the island, Mayo, which is how it appeared on maps for around the next 20 years. In the 1520s, the Spanish named the islands to the north of Mayo as Los Granadios, Little Grenadas, presumably after the mainland Spanish town. Shortly after this, Mayo disappeared from Spanish maps and an island called Granada took its place. Although it was deemed the property of the King of Spain, there are no records to suggest the Spanish ever landed or settled on the island. After French settlement and colonization in 1652, the French named their colony La Grenade. 
On 10 February 1763, the island of La Grenade was ceded to the British under the Treaty of Paris. The British renamed it, Grenada, one of many place name anglicizations they carried out on the island during this time. History About two million years ago, Grenada was formed as an underwater volcano. Before the arrival of Europeans, Grenada was inhabited by Arawaks and, subsequently, island Caribs. Christopher Columbus sighted Grenada in 1498 during his third voyage to the New World. <inaudible> French colony In 1649 a French expedition of 203 men from Martinique led by Jacques du Parquet founded a permanent settlement on Grenada. Within months this led to conflict with the local islanders which lasted until 1654 when the island was completely subjugated by the French. The indigenous islanders who survived either left for neighboring islands or retreated to remoter parts of Grenada where they were marginalized. The last distinct communities disappeared during the 1700s. Warfare continued during the 1600s between the French on Grenada and the Caribs of present-day Dominica and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The French named their new colony La Grenade, and the economy was initially based on sugar cane and indigo. The French established a capital known as Fort Royal later Saint George. To shelter from hurricanes the French navy would often take refuge in the capital's natural harbour, as no nearby French islands had a natural harbour to compare with that of Fort Royal. The British captured Grenada during the Seven Years' War in 1762. <inaudible> <inaudible> British colony <inaudible> Grenada was formally ceded to Britain by the Treaty of Paris in 1763. The French recaptured the island during the American Revolutionary War, after Comte d'Esting won the Bloody Land and Naval Battle of Grenada in July 1779. However the island was restored to Britain with the Treaty of Versailles in 1783. Britain was hard-pressed to overcome a pro-French revolt in 1795-96 led by Julian Fedden. Nutmeg was introduced to Grenada in 1843 when a merchant ship called in on its way to England from the East Indies. The ship had a small quantity of nutmeg trees on board which they left in Grenada, and this was the beginning of Grenada's nutmeg industry that now supplies nearly 40% of the world's annual crop. In 1877, Grenada was made a crown colony. Theophilus A. Marichaux founded the Representative Government Association in 1917 to agitate for a new and participative constitutional dispensation for the Grenadian people. Partly as a result of Marichaux's lobbying, the Wood Commission of 1921–22 concluded that Grenada was ready for constitutional reform in the form of a modified Crown Colony government. This modification granted Grenadians the right to elect five of the fifteen members of the Legislative Council, on a restricted property franchise enabling the wealthiest 4% of adult Grenadians to vote. Marichaux was named a Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1943. Topic. Toward independence 1950 In 1950 Eric Gary founded the Grenada United Labour Party, initially as a trades union, which led the 1951 general strike for better working conditions. This sparked great unrest—so many buildings were set ablaze that the disturbances became known as the Red Sky Days and the British authorities had to call in military reinforcements to help regain control of the situation. On October 10, 1951, Grenada held its first general elections on the basis of universal adult suffrage, with Gary's party winning six of the eight seats contested. From 1958 to 1962 Grenada was part of the Federation of the West Indies. On March 3, 1967, Grenada was granted full autonomy over its internal affairs as an associated state. Herbert Blaise was the first premier of the Associated State of Grenada from March to August 1967. Eric Gary served as premier from August 1967 until February 1974. Topic: <laughs> Post-independence coups 1974 to 1983. 
Independence was granted on February 7, 1974, under the leadership of Eric Gehry, who became the first Prime Minister of Grenada. Civil conflict gradually broke out between Eric Gehry's government and some opposition parties including the Marxist New Jewel Movement Gehry's party won elections in 1976. The opposition did not accept the result, accusing it of fraud. In March 1979, the New Jewel movement launched a coup which removed Gary, suspended the constitution, and established a People's Revolutionary Government PRG, headed by Maurice Bishop who declared himself Prime Minister. His Marxist-Leninist government established close ties with Cuba, Nicaragua, and other communist bloc countries. All political parties except for the New Jewel movement were banned and no elections were held during the four years of PRG rule. Topic. Invasion by the United States 1983. Topic. Coup and execution of Maurice Bishop Some years later a dispute developed between Bishop and certain high-ranking members of the NJM. Though Bishop cooperated with Cuba and the USSR on various trade and foreign policy issues, he sought to maintain a non-aligned status. Bishop had been taking his time making Grenada wholly socialist, encouraging private sector development in an attempt to make the island a popular tourist destination. Hardline Marxist party members, including Communist Deputy Prime Minister Bernard Cord, deemed Bishop insufficiently revolutionary and demanded that he either step down or enter into a power-sharing arrangement. On October 19, 1983, Bernard Cord and his wife Phyllis, backed by the Grenadian Army, led a coup against the government of Maurice Bishop and placed Bishop under house arrest. These actions led to street demonstrations in various parts of the island. Bishop had enough support from the population that he was eventually freed after a demonstration in the capital. When Bishop attempted to resume power, he was captured and executed by soldiers along with seven others, including government cabinet ministers. The Cord regime then put the island under martial law. After the execution of Bishop, the People's Revolutionary Army PRA formed a military government with General Hudson Austin as chairman. The army declared a four-day total curfew, during which anyone leaving their home without approval would be shot on sight. Topic. United States and Allied response and reaction The overthrow of a moderate government by one which was strongly pro-communist worried the administration of U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Particularly worrying was the presence of Cuban construction workers and military personnel who were building a 10,000-foot airstrip on Granada. Bishop had stated the purpose of the airstrip was to allow commercial jets to land, but U.S. military analysts argued that the only reason for constructing such a long and reinforced runway was so that it could be used by heavy military transport planes. The contractors, American and European companies, and the EEC, which provided partial funding, all claimed the airstrip did not have military capabilities. Reagan was worried that Cuba, under the direction of the Soviet Union, would use Grenada as a refueling stop for Cuban and Soviet aeroplanes loaded with weapons destined for Central American communist insurgents. On October 25, 1983, combined forces from the United States and from the Regional Security System (RSS) based in Barbados invaded Grenada in an operation codenamed Operation Urgent Fury. The U.S. stated this was done at the behest of Prime Minister Eugenia Charles of Dominica. While the Governor-General of Grenada, Sir Paul Schoon, later stated that he had also requested the invasion, it was highly criticized by the governments of Britain, Trinidad and Tobago, and Canada. The United Nations General Assembly condemned it as a flagrant violation of international law by a vote of 108 in favor to 9, with 27 abstentions. The United Nations Security Council considered a similar resolution, which was supported by 11 nations and opposed by only one, the United States, which vetoed the motion. Topic: Post-invasion arrests. After the invasion of the island nation, the pre-revolutionary Grenadian constitution came into operation once again. 18 members of the PRG and the PRA Army were arrested after the invasion on charges related to the murder of Maurice Bishop and seven others. The 18 included the top political leadership of Grenada at the time of the execution as well as the entire military chain of command directly responsible for the operation that led to the executions. 
14 were sentenced to death, one was found not guilty and three were sentenced to 45 years in prison. The death sentences were eventually commuted to terms of imprisonment. Those in prison have become known as the Granada 17. Topic. Granada since 1983 When U.S. troops withdrew from Grenada in December 1983, Nicholas Brathwaite of the National Democratic Congress was appointed Prime Minister of an interim administration by Schoon until elections could be organized. The first democratic elections since 1976 were held in December 1984, and were won by the Grenada National Party under Herbert Blaise who served as Prime Minister until his death in December 1989. Ben Jones succeeded Blaise as Prime Minister and served until the March 1990 election, which was won by the National Democratic Congress under Nicholas Brathwaite who returned as Prime Minister for a second time until he resigned in February 1995. He was succeeded by George Brizan who served until the June 1995 election which was won by the new National Party under Keith Mitchell who went on to win the 1999 and 2003 elections and served for a record 13 years until 2008. In 2000–02, much of the controversy of the late 1970s and early 1980s was once again brought into the public consciousness with the opening of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The commission was chaired by a Roman Catholic priest, Father Mark Haynes, and was tasked with uncovering injustices arising from the PRA, Bishop's regime, and before. It held a number of hearings around the country. Brother Robert Fanovich, head of Presentation Brothers College PBC, in St. George's tasked some of his senior students with conducting a research project into the era and specifically into the fact that Maurice Bishop's body was never discovered. Patterson also uncovered that there was still a lot of resentment in Grenadian society resulting from the era and a feeling that there were many injustices still unaddressed. On September 7, 2004, after being hurricane-free for 49 years, the island was directly hit by Hurricane Ivan. Ivan struck as a Category 3 hurricane and damaged or destroyed 90% of the island's homes. On July 14, 2005, Hurricane Emily, a Category 1 hurricane at the time, struck the northern part of the island with 80 knot 150 km per hour, 92 miles per hour winds, causing an estimated USD $110 million, $297 million worth of damage. By December 2005, 96% of all hotel rooms were open for business and to have been upgraded in facilities and strengthened to an improved building code. The agricultural industry and in particular the nutmeg industry suffered serious losses, but that event has begun changes in crop management and it is hoped that as new nutmeg trees gradually mature, the industry will return to its pre-Ivan position as a major supplier in the Western world. In April 2007, Grenada jointly hosted along with several other Caribbean nations the 2007 Cricket World Cup. The island's prime minister was the CARICOM representative on cricket and was instrumental in having the World Cup games brought to the region. After Hurricane Ivan, the government of the People's Republic of China PRC paid for the new $40 million national stadium and provided the aid of over 300 laborers to build and repair it. During the opening ceremony, the anthem of the Republic of China Rock, Taiwan, was accidentally played instead of the PRC's anthem, leading to the firing of top officials. The 2008 election was won by the National Democratic Congress under Tillman Thomas. The 2013 election was won by the new National Party under Keith Mitchell winning all 15 seats. Topic. Geography The island of Karakou is the largest island in the Grenadines. It is located between the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, north of Trinidad and Tobago. Smaller islands are Petite Martinique, Ronde Island, Kai Island, Diamond Island, Large Island, Saline Island, and Frigate Island. Most of the population lives on Grenada, and major towns there include the capital, St. George's, Grenville and Guyave. The largest settlement on the other islands is Hillsboro on Karakou. The islands are of volcanic origin with extremely rich soil. Grenada's interior is very mountainous with Mount St. Catherine being the highest at 840 meters feet). Several small rivers with beautiful waterfalls flow into the sea from these mountains. Topic. Climate The climate is tropical, hot and humid in the rainy season and cooled by the trade winds in the dry season. 
Grenada, being on the southern edge of the hurricane belt, has suffered only three hurricanes in 50 years. Hurricane Janet passed over Grenada on September 23, 1955, with winds of 185 km per hour, 115 miles per hour causing severe damage. The most recent storms to hit have been Hurricane Ivan on September 7, 2004, causing severe damage and 39 deaths and Hurricane Emily on July 14, 2005, causing serious damage in Karakou and in the north of Grenada which had been relatively lightly affected by Hurricane Ivan. Politics As a Commonwealth realm, Queen Elizabeth II is Queen of Grenada and Head of State. The Crown is represented by a Governor-General, currently Cecile La Grenade. Day-to-day -day executive power lies with the Head of Government, the Prime Minister. Although appointed by the Governor-General, the Prime Minister is usually the leader of the largest party in the Parliament. The Parliament consists of a Senate 13 members and a House of Representatives 15 members. The Senators are appointed by the government and the opposition, while the representatives are elected by the population for five-year terms. On February 19, 2013, Prime Minister Keith Claudius Mitchell, 65, led the new National Party NNP to victory with a clean sweep of 15 seats. Mitchell is Grenada's ninth Prime Minister since it attained political independence from Britain in 1974. Topic political parties National Democratic Congress Grenada New National Party Grenada United Labour Party Topic Foreign relations Grenada is a full and participating member of both the Caribbean Community CARICOM and the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States OECS. Topic the Commonwealth Grenada is, along with much of the Caribbean region, a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. The organization, which is primarily the old British colonies, focuses on fostering international relations between its members. Topic organization of American States OAS Grenada is one of the 35, 35 states which has ratified the OAS Charter and is a member of the organization. The Charter of the Organization of American States was signed in Bogotá in 1948 and was amended by several protocols which were agreed to in different countries. The naming convention which is used with respect to the naming of the protocols is name of the city and the year in which the protocol was signed, being included in the protocol, such as Cartagena de Indias in 1985, Managua 1993. According to the website of the OAS, Grenada entered into the Inter-American System in 1975 according to the OAS's website. Topic summits of the Americas The last summit of the Americas, the seventh, was held in Panama City, Panama in 2015 with the eighth summit being held in Lima, Peru in 2018 according to the website of the Summits of Americas. Since Grenada is a member of the OAS, in light of changes in the global economy, discoveries in the oil and gas sector in Guyana, possible exploration for oil and gas which is in the discussion stage in Grenada, representations on behalf of Grenada are likely to be made at that summit. Topic Double Taxation Relief CARICOM Treaty on July 6, 1994 at Sherborne Conference Center, St. Michael, Barbados, George Brizan signed the Double Taxation Relief CARICOM Treaty on behalf of the Government of Grenada, seven other countries signed the Double Taxation Relief CARICOM Treaty on that day. These countries were, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, with another country Guyana signing the agreement on August 18, 1994. This treaty covered concepts such as taxes, residence, tax jurisdictions, capital gains, business profits, interest, dividends, royalties and other areas. Topic FATCA On June 30, 2014, Grenada signed a Model 1 agreement with the United States of America in relation to Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act FATCA. Topic military Grenada's military has two branches, Royal Grenada Police Force, which includes a special service unit. Coast Guard of Grenada. Topic administrative divisions Grenada is divided into six parishes, Caracou and Petite Martinique, two of the Grenadines, have the status of dependency. Topic economy Grenada's economic picture is soured by a heavy external debt problem. With government debt service payments running at about 25% of total revenues in 2017, Grenada was listed ninth worst in a study of 126 developing countries. Tourist facilities are being expanded, tourism is the leading foreign exchange earner. Major short-term concerns are the rising fiscal deficit and the deterioration in the external account balance. 
Grenada shares a common central bank and a common currency the East Caribbean dollar with seven other members of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States OECS. Topic Agriculture and exports Grenada is a globally important producer of several different spices. Most notably nutmeg and mace, of which Grenada is the world's second largest producer after Indonesia, providing 20% of the world supply. Nutmeg is depicted on the Grenadian flag. Further important exports include cinnamon, cloves, ginger, allspice and orange, citrus peels. Coffee is also present on Grenada, but generally as wild plants and used locally. The Grenada Chocolate Company has pioneered the cultivation of organic cocoa, which is also processed into finished chocolate bars. In 2014, an annual Pure Chocolate Festival was created. Some of the activities which have taken place according to the website Grenada Chocolate Festival are visits to the cocoa farms which have been in existence since around 1920 and which are located in rainforests which are ecologically sensitive, dance the cocoa which is a traditional way to separate the skins from the seed of the cocoa, and sampling of cocoa-infused cuisine which may have developed as part of the country's culture. Topic tourism Tourism is Grenada's main economic force. Conventional beach and water sports tourism is largely focused in the southwest region around St. George, the airport and the coastal strip. Ecotourism is growing in significance. Most small eco-friendly guesthouses are located in the St. David and St. John parishes. The tourism industry is increasing dramatically with the construction of a large cruise ship pier and esplanade. Up to four cruise ships per day were visiting St. George in 2007-2008 during the cruise ship season. Tourism is concentrated in the southwest of the island, around St. George, Grand Anse, Lance Ox Epins, and Point Salines. Grenada has many idyllic beaches around its coastline including the 3 km miles long Grand Anse Beach in St. George which is considered to be one of the finest beaches in the world and often appears in countdowns of the world's top 10 beaches. Besides these excellent beaches, tourists' favorite points of interest yet in Grenada are the waterfalls. The nearest to St. George's is the Annandale Waterfalls, but other notable ones like Mount Carmel, Concord, Seven Sisters and Tufton Hall are also within easy reach. Topic Natural and historical places In 2017 the Karaku Maroon and String Band Music Festival enters its seventh year. In 2017, occurring in April, the event lasts for three days, occurs in three venues, however it is classified as one festival according to the Pure Granada website. The concept of string bands is historical in nature. In 2017 the annual budget Marine Spice Island Billfish Tournament 48 will be entering its 48th year of existence. The tournament lasts for four days and in 2017 it starts on January 21. Island Water World Sailing Week, as its name suggests, is an event which lasts for a week and in 2017 will be held towards the end of January into February. This event is similar to the America Cup which is hosted upon agreement or calling out. Many of these events stimulate the economy as they attract boats and persons who may need repairs to their boats or who may need to learn new routes to shelter their boats during hurricanes or inter-tropical convergence zones which are weather systems which affect this part of the world for almost half of the year every year. The Granada Sailing Festival workboat regatta starts in January and lasts for a few days. From the photos on the website Granada Sailing Festival, it appears that the style of the race is similar as similar to that event in which CARICOM National, Andrew Lewis raced at the 2016 Summer Olympics. Topic education St. George's University has rapidly expanded in recent years, and has a major economic impact, particularly in southern portions of the island. While some of its approximately 5,000 students are from Grenada, including many undergraduates, and many medical students serve rotations off of the island, the majority of students are from other countries and bring substantial revenue to the island while studying there. St. George's University is among the island's largest employers, and students patronize many off-campus landlords and other businesses. Street. George's University is one of the Organization of American States OAS Consortium of Universities according to the OAS webpage. Topic transport flights at the Maurice Bishop International Airport connect with other Caribbean islands, the United States, Canada, and Europe. There is a daily fast ferry service between St. George and Hillsborough. Topic demographics A majority of Grenadine citizens are descendants of the African slaves brought by the English and French. Few of the indigenous Carib and Arawak population survived the French purge at Soders. 
A small percentage of descendants of indentured workers from India were brought to Grenada mainly from the north Indian states of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh between May 1, 1857 to January 10, 1885. Today, Grenadians of Indian descent comprise the second largest ethnic group. There is also a small community of French and English descendants. The rest of the population is of mixed descent 13%. Grenada, like many of the Caribbean islands is subject to a large amount of migration, with a large number of young people wanting to leave the island to seek life elsewhere. With estimated 107,317 people living in Grenada, estimates and census data suggest that there are at least that number of Grenadian-born people in other parts of the Caribbean such as Barbados and Trinidad and at least that number again in first world countries. Popular migration points for Grenadians further north include New York City, Toronto, the United Kingdom in particular, London and Yorkshire, see Grenadians in the UK and sometimes Montreal, or as far south as Australia. This means that probably around a third of those born in Grenada still live there. Religion The following statistics are from the World Factbook Roman Catholic 44.6% Protestant 43.5% Anglican 11.5% Pentecostal 11.3% Seventh-day Adventist 10.5% Baptist 2.9% Church of God 2.6% Methodist 1.8% Evangelical 1.6% Other 6.2% Jehovah's Witness 1.1% Rastafarian 1.1% None 3.6% Language English is the country's official language, but the main spoken language is either of two Creole languages Grenadian Creole English and Grenadian Creole French which reflects the African, European, and native Indian heritage of the nation. The Creoles contain elements from a variety of African languages. Grenadian Creole, however, is also influenced by French. Grenadian Creole French is mainly spoken in smaller rural areas, but today it can only be heard in a few small pockets of the society. Grenadian Creole French is mainly known as Patois or Creole. Some Hindi, Bhojpuri terms are still spoken amongst the Indian descendants, mostly those pertaining to the kitchen, such as alu, gira, karela, same, chaunke, and bele. The term bai, which means, brother, in Urdu and Hindi, is a common form of greeting amongst Indo-Grenadians males of equal status. The indigenous languages were Inyari and Karina Carib. Culture. Although French influence on Grenadian culture is much less visible than on other Caribbean islands, surnames and place names in French remain, and the everyday language is laced with French words and the local dialect, or patois. Stronger French influence is found in the well-seasoned spicy food and styles of cooking similar to those found in New Orleans, and some French architecture has survived from the 1700s. Island culture is heavily influenced by the African roots of most of the Grenadians, but Indian and Carib Amerindian influence is also seen with dal puri, rotis, Indian sweets, cassava and curries in the cuisine. The oil down is considered to be the national dish. The name refers to a dish cooked in coconut milk until all the milk is absorbed, leaving a bit of coconut oil in the bottom of the pot. Early recipes call for a mixture of salted pigtail, pig's feet trotters, salt beef and chicken, dumplings made from flour, and provision like breadfruit, green banana, yam and potatoes. Callaloo leaves are sometimes used to retain the steam and for extra flavor, soca, calypso, and reggae set the mood for Grenada's annual carnival activities. Over the years rap music became famous among Grenadian youths, and there have been numerous young rappers emerging in the island's underground rap scene. Zouk is also being slowly introduced onto the island. The islanders' African and Carib Amerindian heritage plays an influential role in many aspects of Grenada's culture. An important aspect of the Grenadian culture is the tradition of storytelling, with folk tales bearing both African and French influences. The character, Anansi, a spider who is a trickster, originated in West Africa and is prevalent on other islands as well. 
French influence can be seen in La Diablis, a well-dressed she-devil, and Ligaru from Lou Garo, a werewolf. Topic: <laughs> Sports. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Olympics. Granada has competed in every Summer Olympics since the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. Kirani James won the first Olympic gold medal for Granada in the men's 400 meters in 2012 and silver in 2016. Topic: <coughs> Cricket. As with other islands from the Caribbean, cricket is the national and most popular sport and is an intrinsic part of Grenadian culture. The Granada national cricket team forms a part of the Windward Islands cricket team in regional domestic cricket, however it plays as a separate entity in minor regional matches, as well as having previously played 2020 cricket in the Stanford 2020. Granada National Cricket Stadium of St. George's hosts domestic and international cricket matches. Devon Smith, West Indies record holder to win the list A West Indian domestic competition for the second time, was born in the small town of Hermitage. See also Outline of Granada Index of Granada-related articles Notes References External links Wikimedia Atlas of Grenada Official website of the Government of Grenada Chief of State and Cabinet Members. Grenada. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Grenada at UCB Libraries Govpubs. Grenada at Curlie Grenada from the BBC News. Presentation Brothers College Key Development Forecasts for Grenada from International Futures.